I was just curious, from the spring, you had a pretty big red-white game. Have you been able to build on that uh, leading into this season? Um, my focus since the spring game has just been to focus on the little stuff, the details and stuff, work, working on my route running, my blocking, and obviously my catching. You play in the, the slot primarily, at least that's what we see you out there. It looks like you guys are working a lot of screen game stuff. Do you see that as being a big part of this offense, and, and how can you excel? Uh, I mean, I love the screen game. Uh, get to really utilize my speed on those. So I, I really like screens and hope that we can call them in the game. You were one of the guys that clocked 22 miles an hour, um, both of you guys, I believe. Uh, but I was curious, Isaiah, you come from such a track background. Your parents were track people, obviously. Um, you won all four events in the 6A state championship. What was your um, – just like how does that translate for you over to football? And, and also I was just curious, like what's your, your fastest 100-meter time? You know, I mean, I've always been a runner and stuff, and uh, football, it translates to track really, really well. And, you know, I just try and use track as much as I can whenever I'm in my receiver stance, just pushing out like I'm in blocks and stuff. And, you know, just have big, long strides whenever I'm in open field. And then, you know, kind of chop it down a little bit whenever it's a little bit closer. But um, in the 100, my freshman year, I ran 10-8, and that was my fastest time in the 100. Yes, sir. Andrew, you told me during the recruiting, when you and Isaac both told me one of the reasons you were considering here is because of the success that Matt Landers and Jaden Hazelwood had. Now, Coach Gotten talks about you and Isaac being two of the leaders. Talk about how you've come in and kind of taken the role that those guys had last year and kind of influenced you coming here. Well, basically, you know, I just get into the room. I talk to the guys. All the guys trust me. I trust them. We all just talk as a whole. Um, if somebody does something wrong, we all come together. Nobody's mad at nobody because we rather it happen at practice than it happen in the game. So if we make all our mistakes in the practice. We go to the game, you no, know, no mistakes. You know that's we want that level to be very low. So you know, as a as a as a whole offense, you know, receivers, O line, like we all just come together and just play as one. Isaiah, it seemed like last year during the spring break, after the spring break, you know, Jaden had that uh, accident and then. Uh, Tyrone got hurt. It seemed like you kind of took off then. I mean, you're it just seemed like you picked up your intensity or you just had more success. Talk about that, Isaiah. I mean, you then you finished out like I think Trey said with the spring game. You played really well. You know, I've I've never been the type to really worry about other people. I've just been trying to focus on myself. Like I said, focus on the little details and stuff, and you know, just play my game. Like just show the world who Isaiah is because you know they haven't seen it yet. So that's just what I've been trying to do. Yeah, Andrew, uh, we were talking to a coach here recently, and they were talking about when the transfers came in, they didn't want to step on people's toes, and they just kind of, you know, learn and all. But here, now you're a leader in the room. What what was it that maybe you saw that, like, hey, I can I can show my experience to these guys? What was that? Well, you know, when I came in, I didn't want I didn't want to be like I didn't want them to put me in just a starter role. You know, I didn't I wanted to, I wanted to work. I wanted to start from the bottom, like to to show to show like what I can actually do. And um, I, I feel like I've been doing a great job. And not only me, the young guys, too, uh, they've been doing a great great job. You know, Sam and Bakke, Jadon, Isaiah, you know, all the, all, and even all the new guys, Davion. Davion has been doing really good. Like, so I just, I, just, I just look at all of them, and I use them as motivation. I feel like they use me as motivation with my – knowing I've been in college for so long, what I did last year, and bringing my experience here. I feel like it's going to be, be a very good year. Knowing that KJ was coming back, was that an attracted – for you to, to come here and what's it been like building the rapport with him? It, it's definitely been when when I seen he was coming back, you know that that gave me uh, even more you know uh, thought of coming to the University of Arkansas and, and being in Fayetteville, and it's just you know throughout the summer we we threw when we had off days even we well we didn't have an off days <laughs> really but we threw we threw a lot like even after in the afternoon after workouts you know we will go home take a break come back up here uh, during the afternoon and throw. So it's just it's just been been very very getting our timing right good with KJ. Andrew, I, I've noticed that you and Snacks just like really get after it. I feel like you guys line against each other more than anybody. Just what is it about that relationship with you and him? Yeah, me and Snacks, Jadon too. We all been knowing each other since we were like I've been knowing Snacks since I was like seventh grade. So we we went against each other in high school in seven on seven a lot. So when he came up here, we both came up here. Uh, you know, me and him just going against each other. It makes him better. Makes me better. Uh, even Nudie, you know, I go against Nudie too. Nudie, it makes me better, makes him better, you know. So we all just compete. 
Because, like I said, we'd rather lose. I'd rather lose against them here than lose against somebody in the game, you know. So I, I, we, we just take that all to all in and just hone in on all those things. And then, Isaiah, of course, last year I think you had a rolled ankle or something. But, you know, your connection with KJ, how is that coming along, just, you know, being able to get some first-team reps in camp and all that? I mean, KJ, he always going to throw it on the money. So we, we just have the easy part. We just got to catch the ball and stuff. So, you know, KJ, I can see, like, the improvement from last year. And, like, I, uh, I mean, all the receivers, we know what he's about to do this year. So. Andrew, uh, you know, transferring to Arkansas from, you know, a, a smaller school, has it has it hit you yet that, like, you know, I'm sure every kid kind of grows up wanting to play big-time college football, that this is, you know, that you're going to have that opportunity this fall? Absolutely. You know, it, it, it's hit me, but at the end of the day, I just <clears> – <throat> sorry. <clears throat> I just stay, I just take it as, like, you know, football is football. It's people in lower levels football that's, that's very, very good. It's people that high high level football that's very, very good. So I don't, I don't look at it as, like, okay, I'm going against, you know – the best of the best. It's it's some bit. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of great players all around the country in every single division. So I just come in here and I'm just you know ready to play football and ready to see the fans. Outside of the the football, uh, is there like what's the biggest shock maybe coming to like a big SEC program? The facilities, the food. You know what's kind of been like. Oh, this is this is a little different than where I was. Yeah, the facility, the food, uh, the fans, the stadium. Like just even working, if we work out in the stadium, like. Just looking around and seeing all those all those seats because I didn't see those seats in my old school. It was about you know, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that big of that stadium. So me just looking at that stature is just crazy. And you know, it seems like you made a big jump from your sophomore to junior year at your old school. Mm -hmm. What kind of you know what changed for you to allow you to have such a such a good season last season? Um, I was just you know I just hold in I just honed in last year. Um, my last year receiver coach, you know, he really told me. Um, that, you know, I got this and uh, I actually, you know, just made sure I, I honed in on my the small details of my releases, my, my routes, you know, not not rolling into routes, actually getting to the break of my routes. So that, that really helped me. Uh, I had seniors in front of me the year before, so I really didn't touch the field as much. But the year after that, you know, I actually got the chance to show what I could actually do. Both of you, what was it like working with KJ in the offseason and, like, what type of emphasis was placed on going and throwing with receivers on your own? I mean, whenever we would throw, let's say we didn't get something right or, I mean, it was a missed throw, like we would have to rep it again. And just repetition, I would say, was the biggest thing and being consistent with it. Yeah, along with, along with what Isaiah said, you know, just, just making sure we had that uh, great timing and um, things like that, such as, like if we like he said, if we mess up, well, we'll go, we'll run it back, we'll run it back. I, I remember I had to run it back like three times because we just couldn't get the timing down, but we actually we start to get it down. It starts to connect. And... um. So I feel like it was just a, a great point coming into fall camp. Oh, wait, another thing is like with the new offense that we're running, like with the old offense, let's say we would have a dig, but it would be uh, like now we could still run a dig, but it's just like a little different. Like let's say we have to edge cut it. So the timing with that is different and stuff. So just um, getting that down. Andrew, Coach Guyton earlier, you probably heard him say that you're a, a savvy guy on top of your speed. Um, like in your mind, what's savvy? Like, what's what's the savviness? That savvy, I guess. Good? He just said I like I know how to you know get open. It's like when I'm on the field, it, it just I'm, I'm a react. I'm type of a reaction player. Like I just react to what, what goes on. So I know how to find the zones. I know how to just it just clicks in my head when I'm on the field. Like I don't think so much. I just go. For both of you guys, just what, what kind of a camp has Isaac had? And like maybe where can he help you guys best? Man, Tesla, Tesla is just he. I, I I watch, I go home and watch film, and I'm I'm trying to watch me, but I go to watch him. Like he just he just pops out on the screen, so I just go and watch him. And then I, and next thing you know, I'm five plays into watching film, and I'm still watching him, not knowing that I'm supposed to be watching myself. But Tesla, Tesla's really tough for what he does in, in in the weight room and just everything. He just he's that guy. Yeah, he's a big physical guy, but I, I think that what stands out the most about him is his hands. I mean, he's consistent with it. He's always going to make that big catch. Uh, I forgot to ask you guys earlier. Last year, KJ missed a couple of games with injury. That can always happen. What have you seen from Jacoby Criswell? Can both y'all answer that? I mean, Jacoby, he, he has a cannon. He, he wants to throw it deep every time. And, I mean, his e intermediate passes are really good, too. And, I mean, we didn't have him last year, so this is my first time throwing with him and stuff. So, I mean, I, I really like going with him. And, 
I mean, I, I'm a deep threat, so you know, I love going with him. Yeah, Jacoby. Jacoby knows what he knows what he's doing in the backfield, and you you love to see that from a guy that plays quarterback because he he he's the leader. He has to be the leader of a team. Uh, his short pass game, his any many get deep deep ball. Like you said, he's got a can of arm. He knows how to throw it. He knows how to read the zones, knowing if his man. So you know, it's just he, he's very great. I was going to ask on Jacoby, but I just got one question um, for you, um, Isaiah. Recruiting process for you, you seemed like you were trying to get away from home maybe. Uh, you committed to Texas A&M for a little while, committed to Oregon for a few months, uh, and then came back around and settled in on, on Arkansas. What was that process like for you? What were you looking for, and, and just what did you ultimately end up finding uh, closer to home? I would just say I didn't know exactly what I was going to get with Arkansas. And I, I remember going to the Texas game, and it was like second game of the season. And, you know, I didn't even go as a recruit. Like, I went with my buddy. And just the atmosphere there, I was like, yeah, I, I think I'm going to go here. Like, I didn't tell anybody, but I knew, my, like, I was going to go here. And so, you know, I started getting recruited again and stuff. and. You know, I feel like Coach Pittman and Coach Guyton is another big reason as to why I came here, and they just made it feel like home. And, you know, Coach Pittman, he, he's a great coach, and, you know, I just couldn't turn it down. Andrew, yesterday we got the chance to talk to the DBs, and I know you talked about the competition that you guys have with them, but Nudie seemed really impressed. He was like, Andrew's just changed so much from spring to now. All of us DBs are impressed with him. Can you talk a little bit about – you, you talked about your game and how it changed from last year to this year, but talk a little bit about where you feel like it's changed from spring to now. I feel like when I got here in the spring, I was still kind of nervous, trying to feel my way out. Um, but now, you know, going through summer, but actually building a relationship with all the players on the team, like I'm just so, I'm very confident right now, you know, with, with the playbook. I uh, make sure I'm in the playbook every day before I go to bed and just like knowing the plays, knowing everything. So when I get out on the field, I, I can go 110 miles per hour. So. That's, that's that's my main thing about what was then went from spring to fall camp. I think that Andrew, he, like the thing that sticks out to me the most about him is his, his like polishedness. Uh, he's a really polished receiver and just his hands, like he's always gonna make the catch. Like today he had a really nice one hand grab and you know, he's physical and stuff too, but you know, he's, he's a great receiver. Isaiah, Coach Fountain seemed pretty stoked about maybe having you on a kickoff return. I'm wondering, like, what your level of wanting to do kickoff, maybe even punt return? You know, I'm, I'm trying to get on the field this year. I don't care where it's at. You know, last year it, it was kind of weird because, you know, I was on the bench, and that's never happened for me. So this year I've just been trying to go hard in practice, not take any plays off, and just know that practice translates to the game. So I've been trying to go hard. You and Bryce pretty well split in time with the – ones basically with the top top unit slot? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Bryce, I mean, last year he was over me. So, you know, we really play off each other. Like, he'll have a good play, and then I'm like, okay, I need to turn it up. Let's go. And then he see me get a big play, and then he knows he needs to match that too. So I feel like we, we're really good, and we complement each other. I was quoting the stats on the two-on-two -two earlier, and Coach Guyton said, yeah, it wasn't the best period. How did y'all bounce back? What, what did y'all do well the rest of practice today? Oh, we bounced back. <laughs> we bounced back for sure. We uh yeah, we, we started we start to lock in, you know, practicing in the morning, everybody still had to wake up. We gotta wake up. So once we get outside and the sun starts to hit us and everybody's, you know, locked in, it it, it it became a great practice. Yeah, I would say we started off a little flat and you know, it's a good competition every day. I feel like we go back and forth. Yesterday, we beat the DBs in two-on-twos today. They had the better of us, but I would say we finished good. We finished where we needed to be. Yeah, Kenny said y'all had a good two minutes, so who shined? What happened in two minutes? The team shined. Yeah, everybody was. The whole, the, whole, the whole offense shined in two minutes, you know. Um, it was just, you don't want to just key in on one player because even when one player makes a play, the whole, somebody, somebody, you know, was responsible for that play. Even if it's the old line blocking for the quarterback, the quarterback throwing the ball, like it's not just one player. So I feel like the whole offense as a whole. Uh, so one of y'all two scored that. in the two minutes, or somebody scored. Yes, sir. So I would say uh, the way our offense works, if somebody's open, that means that somebody else did their job and got you open. Yeah. Hey, Andrew, you talked a minute ago about knowing Nudie since the seventh grade or something. Just wondering kind of what your impressions are of him as a player Maybe have you seen him progress and what, what it's been like going against him in, in practice? And, and uh, Isaiah, I'd, I'd be curious your, your thoughts on Nudie too, just what makes him a, a good corner. 
Yeah, it was actually snacks I knew since seventh grade, but Nudie, okay, yeah, you can. <laughs> but Nudie, scratch that part. Just what you think about Nudie. <laughs> yeah, Nudie, <laughs> Nudie, man, I go against him every. I go against him. Try to go against him every day because I know like he he's very smart. Like he 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 knows exactly what's coming. So you have to really be t honed in on on your technique going against Nudie because if you mess up on the smallest thing, like you're not going to be open. So I feel like Nudie is Nudie is great at what he does. He, he, you could tell he watches film. He would definitely watch his film, no matter if it's practice game. He definitely watches film. So, I feel like that's that's a great aspect you need in a quarter uh, in a cornerback on your team. Uh, you can see that Nudie's experience really comes into play. Um, he's been in the SEC for a little bit, and you know he's he's guarded some great receivers. So you just got to be on point with all your routes and stuff. You can't give anything away, or he's gonna key on that. And you know he's he like I uh, like Andrew said, he really watches his film. So you really got to switch up your stuff whenever you're going against him. But I mean he's a great player. And, I'm sorry, and he's gonna be great this year. And you know if you're out on College Avenue driving, you know behind somebody driving 22, it might drive you nuts. But what's it like as a person? To be running 22 miles an hour like you guys can. I mean, what, what, what's that feel like? It just feels regular because we all right running beside <laughs> each other. So it's like, <laughs> it's like we're trying to see who's going to run the fastest. But, you know, when when the, when, the, when the times came out that we all ran at 22, I was really amazed myself because I didn't think I – you know, I give all credit to the strength staff and the training staff because they got our hamstrings feeling great. So <laughs> they got it. we were able to actually stride at and run. So, yeah, I mean, what's that like, 20, you know? on your legs running that fast? I'll just say iron sharpens iron. And, you know, it's one person hit 22, the next person's like, oh, yeah, now I it's my turn. I got to get that. I got to top that. Yeah, so well, I'm, you know we all over there. <laughs> yeah, it's just all competition in our room. But we call ourselves the slide outs. And, I mean, you can really see because a lot of people are over 22. And, I mean, that's it's nothing to play with. Yeah, it's got one more uh, – I, I, I might have misunderstood Kenny. I think he said at halftime of the bowl game, he said something to you about he wasn't real happy with the way you ran a route like it was a middle school route or something like that. But that must have hit, resonated with you. Kind of what do you remember about that and what, what, what how did you react to that? Yeah, so right before halftime against Kansas, uh, I didn't run the best route and then KJ ended up throwing an interception and I really felt like that was my fault. So, you know, I go back and watch that a lot and, you know, that just makes me want to work even harder and stuff. And, you know, I'm going to keep that in the back of the mind this year whenever I'm going against these other DBs and just know that I'm going to get my payback. And you guys talk about going. I mean, what, what have y'all gone? Twenty three or twenty four miles an hour, or is twenty two top end? Not yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm just curious. Uh, I saw, we saw Malachi make a couple really good throws during the two on twos today. Uh, what have you seen from the the freshman quarterback so far? I've seen Malachi. Malachi is really like he, he's fast too. He's really fast. I wouldn't be surprised if he by the time he leave here and go on the greater things, he's going to smack 22 miles per hour probably. Sure. He also can throw the ball very well. He zips it. He knows how to throw it deep, throws right on the money in a bread basket. He, he's going to be a great asset to this team. I would say Malachi's accuracy has gotten a lot better just from whenever I first started throwing with him. His deep ball was always there, but just his intermediate routes, I mean, his digs, slants, his uh, – his bangs are all on point right now. I mean, the, the timing is there, and I just feel like he's going to be a really great quarterback. Thanks, fellas.